Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. These are the water cycle notes. Uh, again, I'm going to move through quickly. If you have, uh, if you miss something, stop and rewind and check it again. And make sure you have your water cycle notes with you uh, and you're filling in the notes as you go along. Here we go. So take a minute and fill in or label the diagram you have on your notes uh, with evaporation, condensation, precipitation, infiltration, and runoff. So the water cycle, the Earth's water uh, is always in motion. It may look, when we go to Jordan Lake or go out to the Atlantic, like it's not doing much, but it's always moving from one form to the other, one different uh, part of the water cycle to another. And waters can change between the three different states, and those are liquid, gas, and solid. So water is the only substance on the planet that naturally occurs in all three states. We have ice up at the ice caps, uh, sorry, the north and south pole. We have liquid forms in the oceans and lakes and rivers. And then we have the gaseous form in the atmosphere. So what kickstarts, what gets the water cycle going is the sun. Uh, the heat from the sun, the energy, uh, raises the temperature of the liquid water in the oceans, causes it to evaporate, turns into the gaseous form where it needs a lot more space to move around. And those atoms spread out and it turns into water vapor and it comes in enters the atmosphere where it can fall as precipitation. All right, so in a little more detail, the evaporation uh, is when liquid water from Earth is changed to water vapor or gas and enters the atmosphere. Condensation is when water vapor uh, is turned back into liquid water. Uh, precipitation is when water is falling to earth as rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Infiltration is when surface water, uh, or water from, or that hits the surface, uh, finds its way through the rock or soil, through the cracks and the pore spaces. And runoff is when excess water flows over the surface of the earth in the form of streams or rivers. So when precipitation hits the ground, whether it's rain, snow, sleet, hail, uh, it can do a couple of things. Uh, sometimes it'll find its way, it'll infiltrate the surface to become groundwater. All right? If the, the soil or the rocks or the particles are porous enough, so they have big enough spaces in between the particles, it'll find its way down into the ground and become groundwater. Or uh, it'll become runoff and create streams, rivers, and lakes. If there's, so, if there's a lot of rain, it'll become runoff. Or if it's in an area where the, the ground is really hard and water can't get into the ground. Groundwater uh, is water located beneath the Earth's surface in soil pore spaces and in the fractures of rock formations. So uh, soil, the ground beneath our feet, is porous. It has a lot of little spaces in it. Right, it's not completely solid. Uh, some different types of particles have more spaces than others, but sometimes those particles are, those spaces are filled with air, and sometimes those spaces are filled with water. Uh, groundwater moves by twisting and turning through these interconnected pore spaces. That's a key word, pore spaces. Due to gravity, groundwater will flow. and that's, It doesn't just stay in the ground, but it'll flow down. It'll try to find the, the lowest point until it either reaches uh, an ocean or a river or a lake, and then it'll keep on flowing. An aquifer uh, is an underground layer of rock in which water can travel through. Water can be obtained from an aquifer by drilling a well. So a lot of people will have get their drinking water uh, at their house from an aquifer. All right? It's usually a porous layer of rock sandwiched between uh, rock layers, like hard layers that water can't get through. And it's usually under pressure. And we just tap a well into it, and that water will come gushing out a lot of the time. Surface water, uh, you've all seen it there. It's, it's water collecting on the, on the ground, or on the surface of the earth. And there's streams, rivers, lakes, creeks, wetlands, oceans, uh, seas, gulfs. All right. And again, it doesn't just stay there. It's, it's, it's moving around through currents. 
or it's it will evaporate and begin its journey through the water cycle once again. All right, there's another way that uh, water can get back into the atmosphere and into the water cycle, and that's transpiration. There's a lot of uh, plants out there, and even organisms. We we transpire as well. We uh, we take in water, we drink it, uh, just like plants drink it kind of through their roots, and then. Plants do it through photosynthesis. They expel water along with oxygen, and it gets back into the atmosphere. As we breathe out, with every breath, there's a little bit of water vapor in it. You've seen that when you breathe on on the on your window, and you can then the water vapor condenses on a cold window. All right, take a quick look at this little video here. Know this process. I know it's review for most people, but uh, basic stuff. So the sun is what kickstarts it. It provides almost all the energy on our planet. It causes surface water, in this case maybe a lake or ocean, to evaporate. There's little hot water, H2O molecules, to need a lot of space and they become gas. And when that, that gas drifts, water vapor drifts over land, it cools and it precipitates. It turns back into liquid water. In this case, it's infiltrating the ground into groundwater, which flows downhill back into uh, lake or a river. Sometimes when there's so much of it, it becomes uh, runoff, flows over the surface, again into a stream or lake, back into the ocean. It's all a cycle. All right, and that water, again, warmed by the sun, evaporates, condenses into clouds, it precipitates, becomes precipitation, rain, sleet, snow, hail, sometimes dew can infiltrate or it can become runoff. The cycle has been happening for billions of years and I'm sure it will happen for billions more. All right, we'll leave it at that. Uh, again, if you have any problems or miss anything, just rewind this video and watch it again.